Around the world, girls die less frequently than boys do, and so when one is assessing how much uh, discrimination there might be against girls, especially in developing countries, if girls have lower mortality, one might take this as evidence that girls aren't discriminated against. So a more subtle, complex measure needs to be constructed in order to determine whether there is excess mortality of girls. Hill and Upchurch, back in 1995, constructed one such measure of the difference between mortality in a country and mortality in a reference country uh, or a reference set of countries that had similar overall mortality to the country one might be uh, examining but known relatively known to be relatively little discriminatory against females against the girl child so what they did was they constructed this uh, this index that's basically the difference between the mortality ratios of females to males uh, between any two uh, ages uh, usually would go from 5 to 0 5 to 0 so this is the how many girls die per thousand births over how many boys die per thousand births uh, f uh, during ages uh, 0 to 5 and we'll compare that ratio with the ratio from a standard a reference set of countries of the 0 to 5 mortality rates uh, for females and for males uh, in, in this standard reference group where the reference group is such that the more overall mortality rate for boys is the same as it is in the country that we're interested in. So Hill and Upchurch used uh, Scandinavian countries because they have very good Scandinavian, they have very good birth records, and um, they have birth records going back to times when mortality rates were uh, very high, or on the order of a hundred uh, per thousand births. So we can take the mortality rates um, from Scandinavian, Northern European countries and say, well, when they had a mortality rate of 120 uh, per thousand births, uh, and what was the rate at which girls were dying compared with the rate at which boys were dying? And then we compare, so that's this rate, and then we compare that rate with, with the rate of the developing country that we're interested in. So, for uh, example, we might have a current country having 220 uh, deaths of girls per thousand births, and uh, uh, or children who, who live 0 to 5, uh, 230 boys, so boys die more than girls. But in the reference standard countries, um, Northern Europe, back when they had 230 uh, deaths of, of uh, boys per thousand, thousand births, um, they may have only had 180 girls die. So we now look at the difference between the ratios. So this ratio is 0.96 and, and this ratio is uh, 0 0.78. Uh, and the difference between the ratios is 0.14 and that's our indicator of the uh, excess mortality that's going on in this uh, developing country. And then we can construct that for every country for which we have data. And indeed, for m many African countries, this, this number is positive, indicating uh, some excess mortality, even though uh, it's fairly small in magnitude uh, and, and hence doesn't really show up in the aggregate statistics.